From the KATC Weather Lab, here's Eric's forecast. We had some moderate to heavy showers roll through portions of Acadiana early this morning, but as expected, we got a decent break during the afternoon. But that next round of showers and storms looks to be arriving here within the next several hours as we push into our Sunday evening and into the overnight hours. So taking a look at the big picture, you can see that rain extends back through Alabama, Mississippi, and across the northern portions of Louisiana. That's where they've been dealing with the very heavy rain throughout pretty much all day, and that continues back into East Texas down towards the Houston area, and it's these showers That'll be then pushing into Acadiana here within the next several hours. But right now, locally, we're just dealing with some isolated showers. But most of the day, we've been fairly dry within the last hour or so. We're starting to see a little bit more of that activity ramp up. But you can see the larger showers have been up to the north and northwest, back through Vernon and Rapides Parish, where they were under a flash flood warning. And still ongoing back through Vernon Parish and over into Texas, where they've seen anywhere from three to five inches of rain with this system. And eventually, we'll begin to see some of that rain make its way into our area. But Start off a closer look at some of these showers pushing into Jeff Davis and up in the Allen Parish. We can see Jennings are getting a decent shower now and another one moving up into the northwestern portions of Acadia Parish up and around Highway 165 from Kinder up to Oakdale. We got some decent showers ongoing and these are lifting up to the north and northeast. So we'll be pushing into Evangeline Parish within the next few minutes or so and then down towards Crowley. We got a little shower heading your way and that's making its way towards the interstate. Down to the south and southeast in Iberia Parish, we have a cell that just moved to the north of Generet. It's pushing off to the north and northeast and back in the St. Mary Parish, dealing with some scattered showers at this time. And those will continue on and off through the rest of this evening, becoming a little bit more widespread. I think as we get closer to around 9, 10 o'clock this evening. As for rain totals across the area from this morning, you can see most of us fairly light, only about a quarter of an inch for Lafayette up to Ville Platte, a little higher mounts over towards Lake Charles up to about a half inch, but to the north, as I mentioned, back towards Rapides and into Vernon Parish, anywhere from three to four inches of rain. So there was a very sharp cutoff where the heavy rains kind of set up and trained and caused some flash flooding and areas that barely saw any rain early this morning as that front slowly tracked down to the south, but then lifted up to the north. And that's again where the heaviest rains will continue to be. But as I mentioned, by nine o'clock, beginning to see those showers push into the northern and western portions over towards Lake Charles. They'll get closer to Lafayette. I think by the time we get to around midnight, starting to see those showers push in. And again, we could have a few thunderstorms with this as we are under a marginal risk for some severe weather, maybe some gusty winds or some small hail associated with these systems. But it should push off to the east by tomorrow morning, maybe just down towards St. Mary Parish, a stray shower to start off our day and pushing into the afternoon. I do think we see some sunshine. So the model kind of depicts this picture as the front and low pressure system moves off to the east. That'll bring that line of showers by around 10 o'clock into much of Lafayette and central Acadiana, but that pushing off to the east by tomorrow morning. We should start off with just some clouds, but then see some afternoon sunshine, so it should turn into a beautiful day. Temperatures in the low 70s, so a little bit on the cooler side behind that front. But moving into Wednesday, a southerly flow starts to return as a warm front lips up into the region. And as that does, that'll produce the chance for a few scattered showers and maybe a thunderstorm or two through Acadiana, but better chance up again in the northwestern portion of the state where they could have a little better chance to see some stronger storms with that. Clearing out into Wednesday, but I think by Wednesday afternoon into the evening, though, again, could see some showers to develop, mainly again north of Alexandria to Monroe, but this will move through late Wednesday into Thursday. So as I mentioned, marginal risk for severe weather this evening, mainly damaging wind gusts, quarter size hail, can't rule out, though, a quick spin-up tornado. And then for Tuesday, we got a marginal risk over towards East Texas from Dallas to Shreveport, but this could be expanded and make our way into our area. So just something we'll be paying attention to in the coming days and let you know if we're expecting any of that to move into our region. Rainfalls tonight look to be pretty decent anywhere, getting close to about an inch, but I think a half inch looks to be a good bet for most of Acadiana. So a nice soaking this evening, what much needed for some of those plants that are now beginning to spring up as the temperatures warm up, but not looking at any real flooding concerns for the region. So scattered showers, a few thunderstorms, about an inch of rain temperatures dropping into the lower 60s. We'll start off with maybe a stray shower, especially along the coast with those clouds. But I think afternoon sunshine get our temperatures up to around 73 degrees for our Monday. 40% chance for those scattered showers Tuesday afternoon. Wednesday looks nice, 80 for an afternoon high. 
But Thursday morning, we have that front move through, bringing those showers into the region and then drying out for Friday and the Saturday. Maybe a slight chance for some showers come Sunday, but the big thing you're going to notice moving into next weekend is more sunshine and much more seasonable temperatures as we're into the lower 70s for highs and overnight lows getting back down into the low 50s. So a little bit cool at night again by next weekend.